Hello, uh, in this tutorial I will explain uh, how to set up an HTTP server on uh, DigitalOcean. So what you want to do is uh, go over here and uh, create a droplet. I'm going to use uh, Ubuntu for this uh, tutorial. Pick the cheapest option. And I'm going to use uh, a server that's uh, close to me and uh, I live in the Netherlands, so I pick this one. Uh, pick a name and create your droplet. Uh, this is going to take a little while to set up, but in the meanwhile you can go to uh, FileZilla and uh, download a FileZilla client, because you're going to need that to uh, upload files to your uh, droplet in, a, in a, a little while. So this is going to take a little while to uh, set up, but once it's done, you should get an email from uh, DigitalOcean. And uh, you're gonna copy the password and you're gonna open the console, log in as root, paste in your password that you just copied, paste it in again, pick a password. Type it again. Um, what you want to do now is uh, install something that can uh, run uh, uh, some code for you. I suggest uh, picking uh, Node.js because it's nice and easy. So there is uh, this article in DigitalOcean that tells you how to install uh, Node.js on Ubuntu, which is very helpful. So you want to scroll down to this part of the article and copy over these commands and paste them into the console. I suggest, by the way, I suggest um, updating this version number to 10. Um, copy over all these commands. Uh, those are gonna take a little while uh, to uh, execute. Uh, how it takes like uh, a minute or so. Okay, so installing uh, Node.js also takes a little while. Should be almost done. Okay, it's done. Now you can uh, check uh, if it's installed. It seems to be working correctly. So once that is done, you can uh, make a directory uh, for uh, your uh, website. some files uh, in this in in, uh, in your droplet. So what you want to do is go to your uh, droplet, copy over the IP address, um, get the Fazilla stuff, open it, paste the IP address in there, 
put root over there and type in your password over here. Port 22 connects trust. Uh, go to uh, the directory that you used that you uh, just created, and now you wanna. Uh, put in uh, an HTTP server uh, in there. So this is uh, uh, a server, uh, a Node.js uh, Express uh, server. So I will also uh, leave this code in the description. Um, we just copy these files over there. And uh, when that is done, you need to go back to your console. And the files uh, should be there now, but we still need to uh, install some other stuff. So we need to install uh, the package to run the HTTP server, which is called Express. So that's gonna take a little while to install too. Uh, okay, and when that is done, you should be able to run your server. Okay, so that's working, but the problem is that if you close the console right now, your application, your server will stop. So to be able to run it in the background, we need something else. And that is a process manager. And as you, yeah, so this is one, so you like copy over this. Don't forget the minus G at the end, because that will install it globally. And it's uh, very important. And to and then you can run your server. Don't forget to replace this app this file with your with your file. This should start your uh, Node.js server in the background. So now it should be uh, running. You can like copy over this IP address, put it in your browser, and now it should be uh, working. And that's uh, how you set up uh, an HTTP server on uh, DigitalOcean. Thanks for watching.